our ferocious quest for energy causes huge problems. Climate change, health issues, the price is high in all respects. We are happy when the oil price is low, although we know that is bound to increase in the end at ever higher levels. Fortunately, the search for gas and oil seems to be losing ground to a new revolution. The large-scale harvesting of sunshine. The solution for solar is not to think about a few panels here, a few panels there. It is fields full of panels. Average people on the street do not realize how big this industry is. It is a gigawatt industry in the next five years. Solar energy is a booming business. It is Germany's fastest growing industrial sector. It currently employs more people than the automotive and engineering sector put together. In recent years, governments have been subsidizing the production of solar electricity supplied to the grid. This helps to finance the construction of solar power plants, which lead to harvesting both sunshine and money. The frequently held myth is that solar energy takes up space. That's actually not true. An area the size of France in the Sahara would be big enough to supply the world with its total annual energy consumption. We are only in the beginning. What happens is a revolution, of a revolution which is bigger than the IT revolution, the energy revolution. In 1978, when we had the last oil embargo, solar was costing $30 a watt. Now it is 15 times less at 20 cents a watt. The message is clear. Solar is cost effective today. Solar energy will come faster than most people think. The Romanian power system has undergone major changes since 2000, when the electricity generation sector was unbundled from the transmission and distribution sectors. As in most European countries, the transmission network is administered by a single national power grid company, Transelectrica. All distribution networks have been split into eight regional companies, of which five were privatized. The key private sector players are Enel of Italy, Aeon of Germany, and SES of the Czech Republic. The National Energy Regulatory Authority, ONRE, is the state agency charged with creating and implementing legislation in the electricity sector of the economy. It is an attractive country in terms of PV energy, both in terms of uh, climatary conditions, but especially in terms of attractiveness of the supporting scheme. With these two, two pieces together, we'll, we are seeing more and more investors coming to Romania, taking a look at the projects, investigating the projects, analyzing the projects, and eventually investing and developing those, those projects. An important part of the PV market is the financing. In Romania, there are over 130 electricity suppliers traders including major international powerhouses such as Gas de France, who buy electricity from producers, including electricity and green certificates from renewable energy producers, and sell to end users bilaterally or under the power market operator of Opcom. Opcom fulfills the role of electricity market administrator, providing orderly, viable, and efficient framework for the commercial trades deployment of the wholesale electricity market. Current legislation obliges suppliers to acquire six green certificates for every one megawatt of solar electricity purchase under a mandatory quota system. The price of each green certificate is set between a minimum and a maximum value. 
I think that Romania has improved significantly its legislation in terms of renewable energy in general, in terms of PV in special. As of July, mid of July of this year, when the two laws, two important laws were enacted, the law 123 regarding the uh, electric energy and natural gases, and as well as the law 134 that approved the emergency ordinance 88 which was enacted last year and made the whole system of green certificates fully applicable and this later law this 134 introduced important principles in terms of reduction the number of green certificates for overcompensation situations which was the concern of all the major players in the in the market for example the earliest reduction of green certificates would be generally first 2014 for PV Energy and January 1st, 2015 for the other sources. will be the, the shining star of the, the whole region and we'll see a significant development in this sector and I think that it is important for Romania to have a significant number of, uh, of megawatts produced by, by solar because we are speaking about peak energy, we are speaking about uh, reducing the, the balancing cost of the, uh, of the grid we're discussing with the uh, Romanian energy regulatory body with ANRE and they were saying that Romania has to invest significantly in hydro energy for example to balance the wind energy that has these variations well if we talk about solar PV energy this is more stable and once again we're talking about peak energy produced during the day when the need of energy uh, is there on a global scale, solar power may be the answer to our continuous hunt for more energy and less carbon emissions. In Romania, analysts estimate a total investment for renewable energy of 15 billion euros or 1.5% per annum of national GDP, including expansion of solar capacity of 250 times the current level. This translates into at least 2 billion euros of such investments. Romania enjoys a significant irradiation factor which coupled with the abundance of flat land renders solar power a sustainable solution for the energy needs of the country. Starting six months after the first stone is laid, photovoltaic projects generate cash for investors. At an initial equity investment of 800,000 euros for one megawatt installed, Investors reap a 24% return per annum for 15 years, or 3.25 million euros of net free cash flow for every 1 million euro they invest.